Thank you, Justin. It's 1145 on Wednesday, which means we have to talk entertainment news. Good thing is we have Johnny Katz here. What's up? We've got a lot going on. We sure do. The first thing I feel like we definitely have to talk about a big loss to the casino right all over the valley. Yeah, we've uh, lost one of the uh, most influential um, casino executives of his era, Felix Rappaport, uh, who um, was the executive when he passed away on uh, Monday morning. It was the COO of Foxwoods in Connecticut, which is a very big property uh, on, a tri on tribal land back there. Felix spent more than 20 years in Las Vegas running five casinos, including uh, Boulder Station, Treasure Island, New York, New York, Excalibur, Mirage, and, and Luxor. And a lot of his initiatives are still in place. A lot of the people that he um, signed, uh, both as producers and as acts, are still around. He had a lot to do with Chris Angel's deal at the Luxor. He was instrumental in signing that 10-year deal and stayed with Chris through, through a, a very challenging opening of that show. Spy Entertainment's Adam Steck. Uh, worked with him for Thunder from Down Under, the Australian Bee Gees, and Boys to Men. He was around, Felix was, when they signed uh, Carrot Top at the Luxor, who's indebted to Felix. So if, even if you didn't know Felix, you knew what he, um, what he brought to the city. And he was a very intuitive and well-educated man and a great front, what they call front of house individual. And I wrote a column about him today. And if you talk to anybody who was around, um, he left Las Vegas late in 2012 to, to go back to Connecticut. But who was around during that period of time, they all know Felix. He was a disciple of Steve Wynn um, and uh, just did it all. And he was a, a very, uh, he had a great memory for people's names. I remember having lunch with him and he knew everybody in the restaurant's names, typically at Luxor and also over at the Mirage. Chris Angel published such a heartfelt mm -hmm. post on Instagram oh, dedicated to him. I know, it was real too. I know Chris and him were friends. They just saw each other. And Chris is actually booked this month in a couple of weeks at Foxwoods, that, that, um, mm -hmm. where Felix and Felix had a suite there. That's where he, he passed away. And so did Scott uh, Thompson, Caratop. Uh, Scott's, uh, uh, Top's legal name is Scott Thompson. I was in contact with him yesterday and Adam Steck. And um, those are long-term uh, that's long-term legacy in Las right. Vegas, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a shame, and a lot of people thought a lot of Felix, including me. All right, let's switch gears a little bit now. Blink-182, a lot of people were really looking forward mm -hmm. to this big residency, and a couple of shows have already been canceled. Yeah, we've had uh, two weekends canceled. I've seen the show twice when they were on stage. This has to do with a condition um, suffered by the drummer of the band, the great Travis Barker. And if you've ever seen Travis Barker play drums... Ooh, one of the best. It is, um, it is uh, next level stuff, <laughs> folks. It is, he is just a machine up there, but he's not really a machine. He's a person. <laughs> And he's had a, a condition that they've described um, that has caused blood clots in, in both of his arms and um, any activity, and he's an active guy, that would exacerbate that as being held until uh, the first uh, week of um, July at the earliest. So that wipes out the shows that they were planning this weekend at the Pearl at the Palms, Saturday and Sunday. They're not going to be back until late October. I think October 25th, 26th is, are the, the dates where they're going to be back to give him a chance to recover. So it's a big, um, uh, you know, a big letdown for their fans. And of I saw that I did see the show <laughs> twice with and one time with the Golden Knights in the crowd and they deliver, man. It was a it was a thunderbolt. Dana said the same thing. Mm -hmm. She said that they were awesome. Yes. Also, we have to talk about this book that's coming out right now. Yeah, Todd Fisher is the uh, the son of uh, the late Debbie Reynolds, uh, entertainment legend and the sister of Carrie Fisher has uh, written a book called My Girls. It's just out. And Todd is a Las Vegas resident, and uh, he has his uh, film facilities here in Las Vegas, HMPE, I think it's called. Um, and he is going to do a book signing on Friday at UNLV's uh, the Foundation uh, Room over there, which is just next to the Performing Arts Center yes. from fi at 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. And Todd is a very... Uh, He's a very colorful individual mm. when he talks about his family. He's got some great stories to tell. I interviewed him uh, yesterday to, to write about him and his family. And um, yeah, if you are a big film buff, especially a Star Wars and classic movie buff. I think a couple people might be. Yeah, he, he has a lot of great stories about, and as you know, they, those two died uh, one day apart in uh, over the holidays in 2016. And Todd is the, um, the chronicler of their time. And Debbie was known for her Debbie Reynolds Hotel on Convention Center Way in the, in the mid late 90s. And also is a longtime headliner here at the Desert Inn where she did 30, show, 30 nights in a row, two shows a night in her schedule. And that's how Todd and Carrie grew up, a lot of, a lot of time with a DI. All right, Sarah, lots going on right now. Yes. You can always catch all of Katz's columns on the RJ's website or the actual paper itself. Mm -hmm. There Our it copy. is right there. Katz!